and I've actually finished those projects because I got completely sidetracked working on a way more fun project. And all of this cost me, I think, like $40 because I had everything except for the casters that go on the desk. I already had this here, as you know, for the candles. I had those two shelves in the house in the office, which is becoming the pantry. This was the green cupboard in our lounge room. Switch the handles over. I've still got the little plates to go, the key plates to go there, but this will just have random stuff in it, printer, candle wax. <clears throat> Our books are coming out here, I've got to bring more out. And this is a desk I had from years ago, but I, it was just a filing cabinet with this piece that I just kind of rested on it. So I've attached it all, put a base on it, put wheels on it, because now I can move this around. So if I'm filming, I can get this to wherever I want it to be, especially if I'm doing a live. Do you think? I think it was totally worth it. But now I'm really behind. I've got to go and do some seed starting now. And it's like five o'clock on a Sunday. Anyway, happy Sabbath. here tagging dahlias ready to dig them up in a couple of months so I'm taking a photo of the dahlia next to the label and then tagging each plant way down low because what we will do when we dig them up is dig them up in clumps cut the stems off and just store them exactly like that so I'm trying to get a little bit of a head start so it's a bit of a quick process just um, breaking it up when I come out, put some labels on. I'm also labeling that row that I didn't know what anything was. So I've gone through and anything that's got a flower, I've taken a photo with the, the description of what it is and I've tagged it so I can remember what's what. We do have a whole heap of Bracken Palomino in here, which is really good. It's a really pretty one. And then some others that I've got no idea what they are. One I think could be Venetian, but if it is, it's slightly different coloring but I don't know what else looks like that I've got to wait for it to open up a bit more so fingers crossed that makes dahlia tuber storing a bit easier and I'm also deciding which varieties are the best for cut flowers and I'm making notes of that as well especially if we want to sell some of these tubers I want to know that I'm selling ones that make beautiful cut flowers this is Sahara it's got really nice big heads, very fluffy, but it's got that not very attractive looking center. So I'm not sure if I love it now. 
And the heads, oh no, they're okay. This one's got a bit of a bobbly head. Sahara this is what it's like before it blows right open and that is pretty just blown right open which is obviously too late I'm gonna cut all these dahlias but I'm having trouble because it looks so pretty right now and all the color but that's business of flower farming. Flower farming. What are you doing, Mimo? I'm just wasting my time. Oh, you always say that. <laughs> He's cutting this gonfrena because it is getting a bit old and we're using it for a wreath workshop. I've got to go and do these dahlias. Do you want me to show you how to condition dahlias? First tip. You want boiling hot water, which I know sounds crazy, but if you pick them and put them straight into boiling hot water, you will get a couple of extra days out of your dahlias. So that's what we're going to do. And then you let that sit for till it cools down, like end of the day or overnight or whatever you're doing. Then you transport them from, well, then you move them from that bucket that had the water in it into the bucket with the conditioning solution in it and then that's where they live until you make the bouquet but in saying that you are still only going to get like five to seven days out of your dahlias some varieties will go up to 10 the ball ones if you've picked them before they've fully opened they will continue to open and because it creates the ball it hides those dying petals at the back you can sometimes get seven to ten days on those but you still want to get them into your bouquets as quick as possible and into the customer's hands because they do still have a shorter vase life than other flowers. But you know the trick with husbands, right? You don't ever let them get hungry enough to come inside because if they come inside, they stop working. So this may not be the most healthiest thing, but I'm taking him a snack. So he keeps working out there. Shh. Hi, husband. Hello. I got you a snack. A snack? Snack! Oh, okay. <laughs> and your hat, because the UV is very hot today. Oh, thank you. What should I grab for Put my hat? Put the hat on. Okay. And here's your snacky. Ooh, let me just And a water. This. I was going to bring you a ginger beer, but then I was like, nah, that's a bit unhealthy, oh. isn't it? Oh, do you want me to go get it? And your water, where do you want it? Do you need a big drink? Are you happy now? Mm-hmm. And I want to go and see you on the other tree. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. How amazing is it? I love it so much. He's happy now. And the other trick is you don't call it lunch. You say it's a snack. So in their head, they think they're coming in for lunch soon, but they're not because they're going to get sidetracked for the next couple of hours now because they're not hungry.
carrots are in. Not really sure how much to plant for the winter, but we should get a good two months worth of growth before, I'm just watching this wallaby. <laughs> two months of growth before the frost hits, fingers crossed. massive storm last night and I'm going out to check the dahlias. I had picked as many as I could yesterday. I didn't know there was a storm, none of us knew it was coming. But I'm hoping that the weight, because I took most of the weight off the top yesterday, they could be okay. But that was a really wild storm. And on top of that, we've got these people in town kind of going around to people's homes pretending to sell stuff. They're criminals and they're just they're looking at what what you've got you know so they come back and steal it later um our town cop is onto it and we've got photos of the cars and everything but they came to our house yesterday they just drove in had a look and drove straight out um but someone's always home here though so we're pretty good but now we have to lock absolutely everything um like front gate leave lights on at night it's just such a pain we're actually looking really good do you know what i think our luck has changed we had months of just thing after thing but now like that was and then that was a horrible storm last night just sheets of rain really heavy rain and we've actually got more that have bloomed daily is a crazy thrill seekers i think Anyway, garden's looking good. I actually got a row of, so it's, um, what are they called again? Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, uh, cabbage. And this row has got the root vegetables. So carrots, radishes, the radishes are up. You can see those around the edges. Um, the only bugger with this row is it's also full of weeds. So it's gonna be pretty tricky to figure out what's what. Um, we've got parsnips. Swedes, what else? Beetroot. <sighs> this row is coming out. That row is coming out, and this row has to be cleaned up. Oh, look, one of the lemon rush sunflowers opened. Yeah, everything looking nice. I've just got to put some. The basil's growing beautiful. We've started to get some marigolds pop up, and the um, celosias up, which is good. So we've definitely got plants, which is great. This isn't as sort of big as it was last year, but we also haven't had the hot summer that we had last year. So we'll take what we can get. How pretty. I've come to check the studio because we've got a leak right here somewhere. And I'm hoping it's not leaking right now. Well, I did put a towel there for this very reason. Oh, it causes such dramas. Look, it's ruined all the wood. So another thing I'll have to fix. At least I can fix it.